What's up, guys? Mecha Sandwich here, and is TF2 saved? Well, the answer might be more complicated. So, a little over a week ago, we had the whole Save TF2 movement, an online movement using the hashtag SaveTF2 to get Valve to respond and help fix TF2 and the ongoing bot issues. And apparently, it worked, according to everyone. Valve responded on the official TF2 Twitter account. They actually logged into the TF2 Twitter account for the first time in over a year and a half and posted saying, we are going to fix this, we hear your concerns, and all this generic stuff that companies always like to say when they have a big uproar. So, did it work? Well, yes, but actually, no. We got a response. That was goal number one. But don't get it confused, the game is still full of bots, there has been no update to that. Will there be one? Hopefully. We would assume that this update would tell us there will be. But this is Valve, and I don't know that we can trust them. It has already been about 10 days, and they're still being radio silent right after it. One statement, no update afterwards. For all we know, there's no one working on TF2 right now, because what is there to say? We have no idea. It's back to radio silence. I hope not for long, but there's no guarantee. Of course, the best case scenario is that it actually is going to get fixed. They are being honest in that we will get this update that the game needs to fix these issues. And an even better, somewhat pipe dream scenario maybe they'll also do it with a heavy update or some big update like that although that is in my opinion asking for too much at this point i can live without a big update just fix the issues valve but there is also the worst case scenario that that was basically to appease the movement and we're not going to get any update afterwards and that would not be good so I suggest that we as the TF2 community come together and agree on one thing. Within the next month, I guarantee we will get a summer crate. We always do around June, early July. So, if we get the summer crate with no word and no update towards the bots whatsoever, not even a thing saying, yeah, we have a fix coming, it's going to be in the next month or so, like, I'm talking just, just the crate and localization files, you know. Bare minimum. No addressing to the bots. Then we have a problem. If that is what happens, then I think it is safe to say that this game is in trouble and we would need to hold Valve accountable. Because they made that promise. They shouldn't be able to be allowed to go back on that now. Because that promise was made when they responded to the movement, and they said, we will fix this problem. If they had just said, yeah, there's not much we can do, you should use community servers, that would be a different story. They would be addressing the problem, but they would be admitting that there's not much they can do about it. And then I wouldn't be able to hold it against them. But here, this is a different scenario entirely. They said they're going to listen to the problem, they're going to work on it, and they're going to fix it. If they give us no update or no fix, by the time the summer crate comes out, we have a problem, and we should hold them accountable for it. In other TF2 news, though, Open Fortress and Team Fortress 2 Classic are both back on line. You can re-download these mods finally again. After Valve had told them to take it down because of reverse-engineered code, but... They said they would allow it on Steam as like a Steam mod, much like Sven Co-op and a few other iconic Valve mods are available like that, like Cry of Fear. But apparently, they never got back to them about this. Despite both mod teams trying hard and kept saying, hey Valve, any update? Can it, are we going to be on Steam yet? <laughs> nah, none. They just said they would and then never got back to them. For practically a year almost. And well, with this whole recent movement, both teams have decided 
that they're just going to put the download links back up. And if Valve hits them with a DMCA or whatever, they're just going to deal with it. And honestly, I think that's good on them. Because they have balls to do that, and I can respect that. Valve, you should have put them on Steam if you really wanted this to just not happen. If you didn't want these mods with reverse engineered code to be available like this, you should have actually went through with that. And if you didn't want it available at all, and you were just saying that Steam just to appease them or whatever, then you should have just been honest. Okay, Valve? You really should have been. Because you are the one who led to this situation. And I hope to God they don't DMCA them. Because that would be very, like, terrible. Best case scenario in this situation, I think, is that Val says, yeah, we fucked up there. We're not going to DMCA them. But yeah, you can be on Steam now so we can have a broader reach for your mod. That would be cool. But if they were to just DMCA them and never get back to it, that, that would be shitty. Because they listen to you, Valve, but then you never got back to them and over things you promised they would have, and it's kind of on you. But overall, I feel like now is the time to be cautiously optimistic about Team Fortress 2. They have made a response. That is step one. If they go through with it, then we're going to be golden. If they don't, well, then we got to hold them accountable. But until then, cautious optimism is in order, in my honest opinion. But we should still keep this whole movement going. We should keep pressuring Valve. Hey, we need that fix out. We're not going to be mad at you until you get it out, though. Um, we hope that you get it out sooner than later. But take your time as long as we get it. That's basically my point of view. Keep the pressure on them, but politely. Don't go and like harass the devs or anything stupid like that. That is only going to be counterintuitive. And in all honesty, if you do stuff like that, we're probably never going to get this patch anyway. But until then, cautious optimism is the best course of action. Like if the video if you want to. Dislike if you want to. Get return YouTube dislike. I keep shilling for that, even though I'm not sponsored. And subscribe if you want to. It's not too big a deal for me either way. Adios. And I apologize for the next Summer of Shrek video being quite late. I am very deeply sorry about that. Kind of got distracted with a bunch of real life shit as well as this TF2 stuff going on and I wanted to cover it. So the next video will be out within the next week and we'll be back on track and I'm changing the rules a little bit. It's not always going to be on Friday. It's just going to be when I get the videos done. We have a deadline being middle of September being the absolute latest any of these videos can come out. Unless I want to get publicly shamed and have some punishment video out. That's right, a punishment video. You know you want it. But not as much as you want the Summer of Shrek videos, I assume. I also am adding Tony Hawk's Underground 2 to this whole marathon because come on there's not enough good shrek games this is a good game it's got shrek in it it's got a bunch of shrek advertising in it i, I need <laughs> to have some brevity i need to have something that's a good game other than shrek 2 for the ps2 because so far that's like the only game that i see in this list that is good and i need at least one more good game because i'm gonna go insane otherwise adios again brothers